I was asked by uh, one of my subscribers how to measure uh, chain wear uh, using a method other than using like the uh, little gauge. Now my personal preference is using like the little gauge. Uh, this one's by Park Tool. It's a CC3. There's also a CC3.2 which is a little bit longer. And it's so easy. Uh, you just put one in there, you drop down. If it drops down uh, the 0.75, that means it's uh, three quarters of a percent of wear if that drops down and uh, if you drop it down the other way then that means it's one percent of uh, wear um, in either case if that drops down uh, you want to replace the chain if you if the, if the one percent drops down then uh, the chain is really worn you probably want to replace the uh, the uh, free wheel and the, the chain rings um, but I'm going to show you how to measure chain wear with a ruler um, they call it chain stretch, but the chain really doesn't stretch. What happens is the little rivets or pins and the bushings that they're inside get worn. When they're brand new, you have the bushing and you have the pin. It's a nice tight fit. But as the pin gets worn and the inside of the bushing gets worn, all of a sudden now it gets pulled up against the edge. And so you have that in each of the little links that the little pin is pulling to the one side of a larger hole and the chain just appears to get longer. With a ruler, if I go ahead and put the beginning of the ruler right on the, the center of a pin, every pin should be uh, about one half inch. So they should line up all the way down to the 12 inch mark. So I line up the start of the ruler right to the center of the, one of the pins over here. And then when it gets to the 12 inch mark down there, you can see it's right about the center of the pin there. That's because this is a brand new chain, so there's no wear on it at all. Now let me go ahead and show you a chain that's actually worn. So first I'll show you with the gauge. Here's the gauge, and I go down, and then that drops right in. That's the 1.0, uh, that's 1% uh, percent wear, and that just drops through right nice and easy. There's not even any resistance down there. And also, you can go in and, and check further links and see if any like that like that but they're all this chain is just worn let me show you with the ruler so I line up the beginning of the ruler right to the center of the pin over here okay so here's the other end of the ruler as you can see the pin is well past the 12 inch mark and what we're looking at is the center of the pin um, if the center of the pin is like a less than a sixteenth of an inch uh, past the 12 inch mark then it's okay go, you can go ahead and continue using the, the chain if it's uh, over 16th of an inch then you'll want to go ahead and replace the end the chain if if it's over an eighth of an inch past the uh, 12 uh, inch mark and again we're talking the center of the pin then at that point the chain is extremely worn and you're probably going to want to hit replace the chain rings and the freewheel and this chain here is extremely worn, so I'm probably going to have to replace everything. Um, anyway, so that's how you measure chain wear with a ruler. I hope this helps. Thanks.